Just showing the uh, the new dashboard layout. I've now got um, touch control settings here. I can see on the screen that they will now reflect. Hopefully, the uh, the dial is actually on the steering wheel. So if I turn the um, traction control percentage, you should see that value change 0 0.88, 0 0.72. You see that's changing. As I turn the traction control percentage around, I've programmed it so it changes from dry to wet. And then these are the traction control settings for the wet. Turn it back, and then it should say dry. There you go. That's working fine. We've got another switch down here, which is the adder that raises and lowers the overall traction control curve. So if I move that around, you can see it says it's going to basically lower the curve below zero. And back around again. So I can actually see what the settings are now on the dashboard rather than looking down at the, uh, the dials while I'm trying to change them. Uh, screen two. Uh, this is what's displayed when the car is actually moving. That will show uh, the alternator charge state um, when it's uh, when the engine's running. It'll also show when the fan's on and off, um, and it'll then say limp mode in huge writing if the ECU trips into limp mode for any reason. Screen three. This is now showing the GPS time in seconds. That just confirms to me that the GPS is locked, and we've actually got data from it. We've got other things like paddle status it's got the clutch switch on it it also shows fan status etc um, screen four this diagnoses the wheel speeds and the suspension settings and also the brake pressures and the final screen screen five this is engine health this shows me what the exhaust gas temperature settings are for the four cylinders and the turbo and it shows the ambient air temperature and the air charge temperature as well all in degrees c, c. Okay. right yeah very happy